They don't even know who you are. If they think you're famous, they want to take a picture with you. Just say the word blogger, and then it automatically you're like a god. And I think there's something wrong with that. Because, I mean, on the one hand, Filipinos are very, like, warm, and I love that. But on the other hand, like, I think there should be less focus on blogger or the famous, and more focus on the real influence, the real change makers. The ones who are not famous, but the ones who are changing something. Right? And I wish in the Philippines there was more focus on the change makers rather than on the blockers. A while ago, your story that uh, it took you some time before you were able to get a lot of followers. Yes. Uh, what was your secret to persevere? Um, I think it's because when you do things for the fame, you'll be very discouraged very fast. When you do things because you believe you have a good message, you'll never be discouraged, ever. And so I think if you want to be a blogger, if you want to be a content maker, you shouldn't do things for the fame. The fame is just a side effect. The money is a side effect. I never thought I would make money from this, but now we are, which is very surprising. So that, this, is my, this is my advice, I would say. Any message to the Filipino youth? <laughs> Don't, uh, I think don't settle. I think, I think, I think I've seen a lot of Filipinos who sort of settle for $500 or $600 a month job. Uh, I think you as a Filipino kid or as an American kid, you should be making uh, $6 million a year. So I don't think people should settle for like a good job. Uh, they should always want more and more and more and more. If you don't want to change the world and you just want to have a job, then don't settle for the job. Always try to get more. Always ask for more responsibilities. Always ask for a raise. Um, and I, like, I know, I know a lot of Filipinos are very. The most polite nation is probably the Philippines. They say the word sir. They say ma'am. They're very respectful of others, and they're very hospitable. Um, but I would say, yeah. But I, but I don't like the word sir. I know it's a polite word, but I don't like it. Uh, because I feel like when you say sir, you not only you don't res respect someone, you you kind of put them above you in a way. You're the sir, and I'm the you know. So I, I don't like that word sir. I see it in many places. So I wish less people called me sir here and just nas. We're equal. You know what I mean? Yes. I hope that makes sense. I think this will be a little yes. bit controversial. Yes. So enjoy. <laughs> yes.